Hey Strikers, this is SF and this is this week's Monster Strike News. I did do a live commentary on my channel. If you guys want to see the comments of, uh, of people and my comments during that live stream, then by all means go check that out. This is more of a compact version, just telling you the news as it is. And of course they added some stuff later on in like articles and stuff, so I want to put that in as well. So if you want the compact version, then here, if you want to watch the whole thing live and uh, the live version, then go to uh, the archived uh, video. So let's get onto it. There's a lot of stuff going, uh, I'm going to go through. So hope to make this as fast as I can and as informative as I can. First up is the seven deadly sins collaboration. I don't really know much about the anime, but most likely it'll be up after, um, the Guardian series, I think it's like at the 14, 15 ish, 14, 15 of September. Let's get on to the Hatcher Monsters. First off is Meliodas. Uh, he is the Hatcher Monster, has both evolution and ascension evolution. The only thing that's really unique is the revenge counter mode strike shot. Uh, what that means is basically like a normal counter strike, uh, counter mode strike shot, but uh, the revenge part is that. The damage from his bump combo, the Twin Horizon Laser XL, will increase depending on the amount of damage he's taken. So the more damage he takes from the enemy, the more powerful that laser is. The Ascension form, uh, nothing really much uh, to explain, but really crazy abilities. Strike Shot is kind of like, uh, I would think kind of like, uh, who's that guy? It's kind of like, what you call it? Uh, Bradley King, but without the weak point thing, without the weak points there, it just basically runs around the map and then deals damage around him and things like that. Bump combo is really strong, same as Robin Hood. And that lock on, lock all Shockwave 3, and then sub is weak point lock on Shockwave 5, which is the same as skill means 0, but it is a sub bump combo. Okay, next Hatcher Monster. Uh, there's two normal ones, Ban and King. Ban. The unique part is the SS, which sucks strength when contacted enemies. So basically, the more uh, more enemies that he contact, like that he hits, the more attack he gains back for that strike shot, and of course for future turns. And then bump is copy, same as Magmel King, uh, blast, pierce, flight, no damage roll, no block. That's basically a Horai or Pangline monster and a weak point slayer to do it. And uh, strike shot is just a bullet strike shot, so same as Roy's, and then bump combo is a rewind blaster. And Diane and Gother are your four or five star hatcher monsters. And uh, Jericho and Gulia, and uh, Gulia or Gulia is your uh, savage monsters, your savage four or five star monsters. Next one is Gil Thunder and Hellbram. If I'm butchering their names, then I'm butchering their names. Uh, Gil Thunder is a 24 7 drop monster, so basically a single drop. Uh, once you defeat him, then he drops automatically. He does not come in luck chest, no continue, or clear speed, and those things. Uh, Hellbram is a regular descent monster, so basically he's up for three hours or two hours, depending on uh, the day. So check the schedule out. Uh, next one is Hendrickson. Uh, he's also a regular descent monster, just like Hellbram. Uh, the only thing that's unique is that he has two evolutions, and just like Minoru. Uh, from the Yu Yu Hakusho, uh, Sensui Minoru, Minoru uh, he ha you can switch him for free without a cost, but you do have to clear a mission. Uh, the mission is not as hard as I think it will be, but uh, the mission is to clear Hendrix's dungeon, which is a uh, which is a extreme, it's not an insidious, which is just an extreme, but your team has to have three of the uh, Deadly Sins, mon uh, Deadly Sins uh, uh, monsters. So it could be your if you roll the hatcher, then you can bring like your hatcher monsters, but you can probably fill that team with uh, with just Gil Thunder and Hellbram, or even the next monster, which I'm going to talk about. I doubt they were going to make it super hard, but uh, just something that you need to note. Uh, the next monster, though, is Elizabeth, uh, Elizabeth and Hawk. Uh, she is the mission monster, kind of like uh, Nisa Hawkeye from the Full Metal Alchemist. Hopefully, she's as good as Nisa Hawkeye. But basically, clear missions and do all that stuff. Okay, next one is update 9.4 that's coming up next week on the 13th. And there's a lot of changes for that as well. 
Okay, one is friendless changes. So you can use your stamina to reuse your friends. So for instance, if my friend has a Himiko that I want to use for a dungeon. So let's say for a Marishi. If I'm farming Marishi, I want to use Himiko. Although, I don't know. <laughs> Just as an example. But then I ran out of Himiko friends. So if I want to reuse my friend's Himiko, I can pay stamina to instantly refresh that uh, so I can instantly you reuse that Himiko friend. Uh, it's 5 stamina per 30 minutes. There is a 30 stamina max, so it's basically 3 hours max. Uh, it does not count towards your uh, Monster Shop points or your Mondama points, so you cannot just spend stamina to instantly not play a dungeon and then gain points that way. And Normal Friend and 5 Star Friend are separate. So even if it's the same friend that has normal friend and five star friend, you have to refresh them separately. Just be careful of that. Number two, you can reuse friends if you didn't clear the quest. So if you get a game over or quit, so somehow if I die during Manishi with my friend's Himiko, I can reuse that same Himiko for free uh, because I didn't uh, because I didn't clear it. Of course, if you clear it, then that Himiko will get the will have a timer on her for three hours, and then you have to reuse uh, you have to use stamina to reuse her next is max luck bonuses now they increased it all the way up to 150 the big one is of course the 100 max luck mark which is a uh, hundred orbs so that's more orbs for me towards the deadly sins uh collaboration the rest are just increased levels of percentages for current uh current max luck bonuses so zero or continue is pretty self-explanatory Explanatory, so if you die, then you have a chance of continuing without using orbs. SS start is uh, also self-explanatory. You get a chance of getting all your strike shots up at the start. Stamina bonus is the refill, stamina refill after a quest. Self-friend time reduce is the time it takes for your own for your own monsters on your friend uh, your own friend monster to refresh. At 150, you can get up to one hour no it's 30 minutes it's 30 uh it's 30 minutes every level so since it's level five then that is two hours and 30 minutes and the original refresh is three hours so once you get to 150 you can use it every 30 minutes which is really cool and uh, 145 is max clear hp bonus so once you get once between stages you can you usually get a you get HP back, it's normally 50% of your remaining HP. But uh, I think, yeah, it's remaining HP. Uh, at level three, it goes up to 65%. Okay, next is library additions. Library additions, uh, of course, the main one is Yamato Takiru uh, for the Impossibles. Uh, and then there's new series up. These are all the five star monsters. And the ones with able berries is basically if you max luck two versions and then you fuse them together then they be able to get an able berry slots there and then next and then the last one is max stones for exchange you get 70 luck for 200 max stones if you're really short on them that's it for the 9.4 update next one is what everybody's talking about is the monster pass or mon pass and let's get on to it so the price is 480 year uh, yen per month it's a monthly subscription and then for people that are wondering how you're going to buy if you're not in Japan so if you're on iOS you have to buy a Japanese iTunes card and uh, there's no other way just basically insert that iTunes card into your Japanese iOS account and then you can buy them online you can buy them uh, I usually use Japan code supply when I was in iOS buy them you know and then insert the code and then you get uh, money and then you can use it to buy in game if you're an android you use a credit card or your paypal from your whatever account you are on uh, but do not use gift cards do not use uh, like the android equivalent of an itunes card because uh, you will not be able to use it because of the different currencies i did that i've done that once and i was really sad about it so you have to use either a credit card or a paypal that is linked to your uh, google play account it doesn't have to be a japanese google play account either uh so there is that so let's see the perks of it so number one guaranteed six time uh, six star monster every three months that's kind of meant for a lot of people because especially for people that um that have been playing a while every three months for a six star is kind of you know 
and it, and it doesn't even include Legends or Guardians exclusives or X monsters or the Element Limited monsters like uh, Oda X, uh, Ralph, Mika, and all those, and Lila as well. Number two is what most people will buy it for is that one free seminar refill per day. It resets at 4 a.m. GST, so basically I get a free orb to force stamina. Of course, I won't get an actual orb uh, to to go roll for monsters and stuff. But you can you can basically use that roll uh, use that refill uh, to play more mo uh, play more dungeons. Number three is five percent EXP as guests of the original dungeons EXP, and then plus five percent if you are the host. Uh, one thing I kind of talked about in the live stream that I was wrong is that. The 5% EXP does not increase the host's EXP if you are not the host. Of course, if the host ha is a Mon Pass uh, subscriber, then of course they get the EXP. But for instance, if the host that you're in is not a Mon Pass subscriber, but you are, you get the 5% EXP as a guest, but the host does not gain an extra 5% EXP. That was one thing that I kind of said then it was wrong. And number four is exclusive frame or title, so you can basically brag about it during co-op uh, when you're waiting in the lobby. But it's mainly for people that uh, that play the game regularly and a lot. Uh, basically, one free stamina refill is like you if you really like uh, temple farming, then you know you can basically get more temple runs in. Or if you're just farming in general, uh, or for me, for me, like I I have time. But I don't really want to waste stamina to farm in the library. And now I have this, then I have more chances to actually farm in the library and things like that. Okay, next one is the new beginners pack. It's a new reset. Uh, it's 480, same time as last, uh, same price as last time. And uh, for people that want to use, that want to pay for this beginners pack and don't know how, it's basically the same uh, method as the Mon Pass thing. Uh, time after version 9.4. And the thing that includes guaranteed six star monster, of course, it will most likely don't include uh, all the exclusives and stuff. So it's basically the same thing as the Mon Pass Hatcher. Uh, one EXP Morning 10 dungeon, which gives you 300,000 EXP, two Divine Shells, and one Stamina Ken. Uh, if you have, if you bought a beginner's pack before, uh, before, then after the update, you can buy it again. Uh, if you haven't buy it, bought it yet, make sure you, and, and you want both, then make sure you buy it before the update. After the update, you can buy it again. Uh, you cannot bring back the old one over to the new one. Uh, so you cannot buy it two times. Uh, is what I'm pretty much trying to say. And then the last but not least is a new transcension of Dead Rabbits called Dead Rabbits Unlimited. Uh, ability Super No Warp, uh, Ethereum Slayer M, Gauge of No Block Strike Shot Reducer, SS is Self Immune Strike Shot. Uh, they say it's the same thing as Hanzo. I'm not sure about they had, they didn't really 100% confirm that it's the same turns as Hanzo, but you can probably hope that it is. Uh, bump, comp, uh, uh, bump combo is a barrage shotgun, and sub is blast destruction. Same thing as Cleopatra's Giga Blast, like the Giga Blast destruction. Uh, and then it comes on the 12th at 3 p.m. Uh, I don't really want to get into the nitty, nitty gritties of all these monsters and stuff. I might, I might do that in future videos, but this video is mainly for people that don't want to watch that three minute uh, live stream uh, archive and just want to have, just want to see the uh, a condensed version of it and things like that. But if you want me to keep on doing both at this, uh, both, then comment below. If you want me to just do this and screw the live, then also say that as well. Uh, but that's pretty much it for me. I hope you guys like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next week with more monster news and uh, bye bye